Welcome to this session on updating the schedule. So in this exercise, we're going to add data to our spaces and then update our schedule to show the revised information. So again, I'm in my ground floor plan sheet. Let's zoom in here so we can see that table a little bit better. And I'm gonna go ahead and open my schedules dialog again. Now we could modify this data in a number of ways. I, I could be in one of my design models where, where the spaces exist and I could be modifying properties of each space. But I can also open the schedules dialog and kind of add data through the schedules dialog and add it to the model that way. So again, I'm going to expand my space and we'll go ahead and open the finish schedule. And the advantage of adding data through the schedule is I'm able to sort the data different ways and then modify groups of objects at the same time. So for instance, if I were to sort by the label, then I have all my corridors listed together. I have, you know, for instance, all my, my men's rooms. So for instance, I might select the three men's rooms and then also using my control key, select the three women's rooms, and then I could change all their floor materials at once. So I right click under that floor material column and select edit values. It gives me a pull down of different floor materials. So for instance, we might select porcelain tile and it modifies all of those. I might do the same here with the offices and select all of the office spaces and then select edit values. And perhaps in that case, it's carpet. And we could continue to do that for other data. We, we already put some ceiling finishes on so let's go see how we now refresh our table. So I'm going to go ahead and close the schedules dialog. But before I do that, I want to resort by number, right? Because that's how our tables organized. We want to make sure when we refresh, we do it in the same way. So we resort it by the number. Go ahead and close that and then up on my data reporting tab, there is a refresh under the reports. So I'm going to refresh any reports or tables in this file. And you can see now we're seeing the floor finishes that were on there that we just added. So now you've created a basic BIM model. There's information on that model, and from that model, you're able to create drawings, plan, section, elevation, and a detail, and also extract some of the data into a schedule and place it on a sheet. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.